Black Mamba is the second longest venomous snake in the world and the longest venomous snake in Africa. It has a neurotoxic venom, a highly potent neurotoxic venom which shuts down your body's uh, respiratory system, basically your breathing. So a bite from a mamba causes um, general paralysis and it particularly affects your lungs and uh, eventually paralyzes your lungs and um, your ability to breathe just diminishes. So I've just been called out to this premises behind me. It's in the New Dawn, uh, New Dawn Park area, Newlands East. The people uh, phoned me and said that they discovered quite a large snake in their like outside tool room or tool shed. Um, I've arrived here, I've had a look in the shed. Um, I did see a mamba, but I didn't see it in the same place where these people saw it. So I don't know if there's two snakes, possibly. It is mating season for black mambas. So it is quite possible. Uh, so yeah, I have to just be careful that while I'm catching the one that there's not another one that's like ready to ambush me. <laughs> Let's go check it out. The black mamba can reach a size of around three and a half to four meters uh, maximum. They generally average at around about 2.1 to 2.6 meters is, is a sort of average adult size. Okay, so I've already taken all my tools down there, my torch, everything, I've had a look around. Um, and I've just left my wife there <laughs> to keep an eye. Any movement? Okay, all right, so I'm just gonna open the door nice and wide so that you guys can get a good view and we can let some light in here. Um, see, now the thing is that when the people phoned me and, and said that the snake was in here, um, the person that first saw the snake saw it in this top shelf area. Then when that guy went and called the, the homeowner, and they came and had a look, the snake was up in the roof. Then when I came, I spotted a snake in there. So we're not sure if it's two mambas perhaps, but uh, all I know is I, I can only see this one for now. So he's the one I'm gonna deal with first. Make sure that there's not another one that's like hanging down, waiting to bite me on the head. Okay, he's still in here. He's still in here. Can he get out of your place? Let me f take some stuff out here first. Um, so I can expose a bit of him. Can you hear him moving? He's obviously aware. You know, with my torchlight that's moving around, yeah. he's getting a little bit anxious. I can actually hear him like uncoiling and moving around in here. But it's quite a deep shelf, you can see. He's right at the back. Right, um, I think we're going to put this stuff. Ah, there we go, there's a little bit of them there. You see that? Right in this. In the inside? Yeah. It's right in the back. Just be aware that he's, he's quite... He's quite chilled out now because he feels safe in there and it's dark. So he's quite, you know, he feels, he feels not like he's intimidated. But the moment I start moving stuff and he starts feeling a bit exposed, he could, like at any second, he could just erupt and he could come darting out of there to try and get away. So if that happens, I'm going to need to jump out of the way to get myself to safety. <laughs> he has his head. He's actually looking at us. Did you see that? Yes. Okay, so he's well aware that I'm here and he is starting to get a little bit scared. Uh, here we go, there's the head at the top. Whoops. Oh, opening the mouth. Yeah, oh, he's shame he's not happy. Okay, I think he's going to try and get out of this little... You know, now he feels like, uh oh these people know that I'm here and I'm in a contained space. Is there somewhere we, we need to be? No, I think you're fine. I'm going to actually try to grip him right here and then pull him out. Oh, there, oh, I can see his head. 
Okay, he's a rufting. So you want to see. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't hurt yourself, Snake. Two point, two and a half, three. Yeah, he's about two and a half. Or maybe a little bit under that. He's a big snake. He's still a big snake. You can get in close to the zoom if you want to. So what I'm going to do, once we've safely bagged this guy, I'm assuming it's a guy, might not be. But once this snake is safe in a bag, I'm going to come and have a look and just make sure that there isn't a second one. There's lovely lighting here. This is clearly. That's good. Yeah, that means you have Charles here. <laughs> it's a nice little place, eh, for the winter. Yeah. A little shed that keeps nice and warm during the day, and it retains a lot of that heat right into the night. Yeah. yeah. He's not as violent as I expected him to be. Yeah. It's all how you how you deal with them. Yeah. You know, they respond to you in a similar manner to the way you respond to them. Yeah. So if you if you like, you know, making it feel scared and that, mm -hmm. and your movements are fast. And you nervous, then you make the snake nervous. So, yeah. if you chilled, the snake is generally chilled towards you, uh, as chilled as a mamba can possibly be, <laughs> which is never really that chilled. <laughs> okay, it, it, it is a boy by the looks of things. If it's a boy, then that means they came looking. This well, not necessarily. If if this was a girl, then I would definitely tell these people to be cautious. No, that, that's a boy. Yeah. I would tell the people to be cautious because it is mating season. And if there are boys in the neighborhood, it'll come looking for the girl. Um, but this is a boy. But we're just going to make sure that there isn't a second one. The second one could be the girl, if there is a second one. Oh, he's trying to mess you there. Oh, they do this. Yeah. Yeah, and they smell. It's got a really strong smell. So it's 2.4? Two, 2. It's around about there. Yeah. I'd, I'd easily give it a 2.3. Trying to poo on me, which is their next defense when they can't bite you. Oh, I can see that. That smells. Yeah. Oof. I think, okay, you got my head, I can't bite you, so I'm going to poo on you. <laughs> All right. All right. You're making everybody nervous to hand it back. You're going to bring him out? Yeah, let's go somewhere a little bit open. Uh, Maybe here. Yeah. I think here's a good place. Let's we'll keep this it. closed in the meantime. You just, well, just in case. Uh, at least if there is, we're going to keep it contained. Yeah. So now is the hardest part, bagging. Yep. The most tricky part. Okay, let's just get this open end open. Thank you. All right, let's just shove that in. Thank you. This is a nice big bag, I think. It is, yeah. It, it, it sure, definitely helps, eh? Makes a world of difference. Rather so than you still, holding the head. still holding the head. I'm just getting the body to fall down to the bottom of the bag, but right. in typical mamba fashion, they just keep on throwing coils like this, they keep pushing. They keep trying to. That's a mamba. That's a mamba. It's the real McCoy. Okay, so. Okay, his body's at the bottom, so it's my time to. Let me get that stick. Come on, don't bring your body back here. I don't want it here. There we go. All safe. Just be mindful, don't touch the bag, anybody. Because he can see your silhouette. Because uh, he's in a dark bag and there's a light background. You can see your silhouette. And if you come anywhere near the bag, he'll just bite you straight through the bag. Okay. It helps when you've got a decent length of bag to be able to put a knot in. Yeah, so that's the snake so safe. Snake yeah, I'm going to just put this guy somewhere safe. You know, where people aren't going to accidentally sit on him or stand on him or... And yeah, let's go have another look. My guy that works for me went into the 
into that little two room and he saw a tail or something that looks like a snake. He flew out because he's bang, bang of snakes. He called his workmate, he came and he saw a head. When he saw a head, he came call me. Then I called him and he called him. <laughs> then he called him. <laughs> and he caught the snake. <laughs> okay. and, and that's all I can say. All right. I just appreciate what he's doing for us. And I can get a big discount now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so have you come across a mamba before this? I came across the mamba about 64 years ago, when I was 10 years old. Okay. I'm, La I'm Lars River, and that was like six meters long. All right. Not so six, he, about, knows, yeah, six so feet long. Catch you, what happened to him? Uh, I'm not, uh, not, 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 I don't go for these <laughs> things here. Yeah. Not the mamba, <laughs> if it was a grass snake, uh, a house snake, uh, something like that. Semi poisonous, yeah, or something. yeah. I, 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 I know the different snakes, but uh, when I saw it, the head that was enough. I said, Mamba, big out of my league, get the guy in. There we go. That's See, it. even a, even a trained professional like this man right I here not professional. <laughs> <laughs> decided to call him the snake man. And uh, we, we haven't had a comment from you, no, because I was just the one to go and fetch him because. <laughs> He and called me to say that because me and him go way back and we the ones that I know that he deals with snakes. He even keeps one in his car. <laughs> Where? You keep a snake in your car? I've got a 1.7 meter boa. We need to see this. No, I don't see it at all. At all. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it next time. <laughs> no, <laughs> <I'm just saying. laughs> yeah, nothing there. It's all clear. Yeah, it was the only snake. Okay. I think if you're living in an area where, where there is natural bush around and it is known to be mamba territory, particularly like here, <laughs> if you stand up on the road, yeah, there's bush all around you. Uh, this Newlands West area, Newlands East, uh, Reservoir Hills, all prime mamba area. And as well as Verulam at the moment, there's a lot of mamba activity in Verulam. Westville as well. So if you live in any areas like that where you're bordering on natural bush, you're bordering on na nature reserves or anything like that, then yeah, just be on the alert. Um, and if you see a mamba, try and keep an eye on it. Don't try to interfere with it. Don't try to kill it. Don't try to catch it. Just stay a safe distance away from it and just keep an eye on it. Um, as long as you've got eyes on it and you call me but, and I get there and you can say, there it is, then... It's a done deal, I'll catch him. Um, the only time I'm unsuccessful with catching these things is when the snake disappears off into the bush and the people lose sight of it and I get there, I'm never going to find it. This was perfect, nice, contained. The people closed the door and they kept an eye on the shed from the outside here and they knew that the snake had not come out of here. And they also didn't do anything to interfere with it. So when they closed the door, the snake thought, okay, cool, I'm safe. And so it just stayed there. So they, they did exactly what they should have done.